Welcome to We Really Love Island with Rem and M. I'm Remy Casimir. I'm a stand-up comedian, and I host the sex podcast, How Come? I'm Emily Wilson. I'm also a comedian and a former X Factor USA contestant. We are obsessed with love, sex, and reality TV. So we're binging British reality show phenomenon, Love Love Island. Island. And now, so so are you. Watch along with us and then listen to what we have to say about the episode. This episode, we're talking about season one, episode 13. Have as many emotions as you'd like. Oh my god, I did not like that next time on. Uh, oh, that breaks my heart. I know. But, yeah. Whoa. I know. Whoa. I know. That just made me forget everything that just happened. I know. No. I know, but yeah, we'll see. She okay. also did say she's interested in Max. Like, I don't know, though. We'll see. Yeah. No, I'm talking about Hannah and John. I know, but I'm saying like... Who said they're interested in Max? Naomi. Yeah. But she was also running her fingers through John's hair, so it's like... Oh my God, I'm going to kill her. I know, I despise her. Oh my God. Yeah. How dare she try How and come... How dare. Between those two. Yeah, we'll see though if she can... Um, oh my God. But let's, let's go back to episode okay, 13. Yes, There's only so much back. we can speculate. Yeah. Um, Bethany enters the house hot, 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 stirring the pot. Not even. Okay. So here's the thing is like, I thought, or I think what she's trying to say is like, that she's like all about honesty and like, oh, I'm trying to let her know that like she's coming off as a slut and like, Mm -hmm. whatever, like coming off with like saying these like valid points of like, okay, that would be a good reason to tell somebody or like voice your opinion in this way. But the way she goes about it, first she tells all the guys that she's like, Jess is a slut. Mm-hmm. Like, she's not even saying, like, she appears to be a slut. Right. She's like, Jess is a slut. And yeah. the first time she says it is to Lewis. Yeah. When Lewis is like, she's like, I think Jess is upset or something. And Lewis is like, or no, Why? she no, no. She goes, I think Lauren's upset. Because Bethany has this idea that her and Lewis know each other and have this, like, saga or whatever that he has yeah. no idea exists. About, yeah. Like and I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. looking up. But like, you know, like she was just like kind of delusional and like thought they had this thing. And so then she saw Lauren like talking about something and she goes, Oh, I think Lauren's getting upset to like tell Lewis, like, oh, like, I think I'm breaking up you and Lauren, so maybe she's feeling threatened and Lewis like, No, like she's only upset because or she's only seems bothered because Jess has a crush on me and they're talking about that or whatever. And then then Bethany goes, well, Jess is a slut. Yeah. And she's like freaking out a slag. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, Jess comes up to her and she's like, hey, can we talk? And then Bethany just goes off. Like it was insane. Well, no, 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 no. She she told that to Lewis. Then Lewis told Jonathan. Yeah. 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 Pulled her aside and was like, are you calling? Right. Jess a slut and she's like yeah I am and then Jonathan went to Jess and was like she's got some things to say about you. Yes but then ultimately Jess like calmly walks in and was like yeah. okay what's up right. and Bethany like, blew, like it's blew like up. a million arms and legs yeah. like sprout like nine heads like she's freaking the fuck out Yeah, and like acting like Jess did something to her personally which she right. feels she does because she's like oh if like you're so flirty and like if you go for Lou, I think he'd go for it. Yeah. Like she's threatened. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's nothing to do with like what Jess has actually done. Like, But Jess, that was Je- like a big blowout. Yeah, and Jess was like, it wasn't on my own accord that I've been hopping from guy to guy. Like exactly. I didn't want to get like, mugged off one by guy. Josh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she didn't even fuck Josh. Mm-mm. Like and she like, okay, yeah, maybe flirted with Italian. But the same thing that you're saying, like there's like hours and hours of footage. She probably doesn't remember yeah. I mean, like, a little bit. She definitely knows that, like, she would have yeah, but flirted she didn't, more. But, I, I think but she genuinely the, believes that she wasn't, like, actively yeah. the entire time yeah. pursuing all the men. Yeah. I don't think she is. I think she's just a flirtatious person. And that's yeah. the thing that they're saying now about Naomi. They're like, oh, she just flirts with everyone. Yeah. But it's like, I don't think Jess is, like, malicious in it. The only thing is, is, like, with Omar, when she kissed him on the mouth, like, the first night they were coupled, I was like, oh, come on, yeah, don't do yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then she, like, told him straight out. She was just like, no, I'm, I'm just not, not into it. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, Jonathan really stirred the pot. Um, all those angles in the bedroom were like, there's no fucking cameramen in here. And yeah. thank God. And I because want- it was able to be- stay so private. Yeah. I want it to all stay private. I know. But I yeah, do too. Outside is, I guess it's fine. They can hang out outside. Mm-hmm. Um, you asked a very important question. How are they keeping up with their roots? Yeah. Because Zoe's girls. hair is still platinum blonde. Platinum blonde. And even, I mean, da- Daisy's got a tiny root, but like. And Jess, hers is still red. Perfect. Yeah. They have to have people come in and like keep up with their I hair. I feel like Jess would look so much better with a, like a nice. Black? No. Oh. I was thinking like a, ni- like an ombre, like a blonde ombre. Hmm very dark at the top and then like light at the bottom yeah she would look good with that i don't like the blocky red she looks like jessica rabbit she does look like jessica rabbit yeah at but and uh daisy i loved the blue hair but now contrasted with the red skin it's like just it is too disaster. much yeah i know they need to wear more sunscreen they need to wear more spf people jordan like if you're purple. a burner don't tan no. you don't tan you burn don't do it don't do it nope <laughs> Um, I thought it was funny when Zoe was like, or was it Zoe? Yeah, went over to Lewis and she's like, "Don't do it. You're like a Mr. Egger. You're a yeah. little Egger mixed yeah, egg." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. I liked seeing how Lauren came to like how the girls came to the defense, like not defense, but like the girls all tried to like calm the situation down because yeah. they're like, "What the fuck? Like you just came in here and stomped all over our friend." Yeah, and of like, course called her freak a slut, out, because, made her cry for no reason. Yeah, like she literally had no reason to do any of that, and she just went the hell off on ever about everything. Yeah, I don't really understand why the guys were so inclined to be like, "Yeah, fuck Jess." I know, but at the same time, Lewis says that Max wasn't really backing Bethany up. Like, he's like, yeah, she lo- she comes off, like, a little bad, but, like, she doesn't come off, like, as skanky yeah. as, like, you think, yeah. as you said. Um, and then I thought it was really cute that they let Jess sleep in the hideaway. Yeah, that They're was like, really Jess nice. gets to sleep in the hideaway. Yeah. She needed it. Yeah. Um, Jordan's into Zoe again. Maybe? <sighs> kind of saw that coming a little bit. Did you? Well, because Daisy, like, the more she was on the show, I mean, like, I didn't. I shouldn't say I saw it coming, but I'm not surprised. I felt like it was so strange that, like, initially Jordan was all over Daisy and, like, wanted to touch. And now it's flipped and, like, she's all over him. And he's like, no, actually, I like the girl that I dumped for you. Right. Well, I think it's because, like, the more time people spend there. Like, I think he liked Daisy when she was shy and new. And then he realized yeah. she's got, like, a real spunky personality. She's and he so was, fucking like, loud. And he's yeah. not that guy. And he was like. And I hate, I hate guys for yelling at women for being too loud. Me too. But. If you're like an introverted person, I guess. Well, yeah, you need it's the, not the person so much that you're like, with every day. Yeah, yeah. Look, I don't think it's him being like change who you are for the world. I think no, it's him being like, oh, this, like, isn't, this for isn't gonna me. work for yeah. me. Yeah, I also like that. Right before he dumped her, he was like, I don't have any pubes. Yeah. Like there was, like, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, whose dark long pube is this? He was like, not mine. I don't know. I don't, I don't have, have any pubes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I thought it was uh really cute when zoe and max had their cricket and modeling talk like explaining mm-hmm. why they're both here yeah and like such like a matter of fact and like real way like zoe's like i don't meet guys modeling and he's yeah. like i just came out of professional cricket yeah. like i really both, like, like him yeah i know and they're both like very valid reasons like i feel like i always judge reality people for like being i'm like really you went yeah. on a show yeah just the way that people would judge like people on a dating app maybe like 10 years ago like really you're gonna go on the computer yeah 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 yeah. But that's now a good point i find it's like so commonplace yeah but yeah no i was like i was like oh like max like you're like a nice upstanding citizen and like zoe like your model what are you doing and yeah like, oh, wait, like, okay, she probably them. only meets like gay guys on yeah. sets and like yeah. he only is around other dudes yeah so. and they get paid right who to be on the show i don't think so no no they're all competing for but they don't get like a stipend not even the stipend like they don't get like for appearing on screen i don't think so shouldn't you get paid no no well, i guess it's different it's like country, a documentary different well i don't okay so i was actually asked to be on a show years ago in uh britain mm-hmm. that my friend ended up being on and he's like pretty famous from it now but it's called made in chelsea and um they in my contract it was going to be like a hundred dollars a day filming whether you shoot for 24 hours or whether you shoot for two 
Right. So that's not very much money. Like, I guess they're giving, maybe if they were giving them $100 a day, like, that's like... Well, they have nothing to buy while they're there. $5,000 because it's 50 episodes, right? Or I don't know how long they're there. Yeah. If it's a day per episode or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they would get paid. They don't pay them on any other reality show to be there. You, like, give up time in your life and, like, your job. I got paid. You did? Yeah. I got paid a lot of money. What? Yeah, to just like for being just for my screen time. How far did you make it to on? the live shows? Okay, wait, and it's X Factor. Yeah. Okay, um, but they didn't start paying me until live shows. Um, like I got per diem when I was at boot camp and judges' houses. Yeah, but then for the live shows, I got paid a good amount of money, and then I got paid every time it aired. Okay, so yeah, I think that's like um, maybe like you're technically talent at that point. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess since this isn't like a performing show, yeah. like they don't get... I don't know. I don't know. I, I wonder. I doubt that they're getting paid. Yeah. Did they pay for all your meals? Yeah. And your lodging? Yeah. Because they have to control and my flights. all of it. And your flights. I guess they pay for everything here, but they probably don't pay them. Like, they stock the fridge. They clean the sheets. They do, yeah. the, you know... Mm. I really, I'm I curious. I'll look it up for next time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this episode, oh my God, it's just crazy how, I, I think, okay, first I was so excited for Beth and then I'm just like, she's a full fucking psycho. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. Like when she's screaming at her from, or Zoe from bed, she's like, get the fuck out of my face. Yeah. Like, do you think I care? No. Like, yeah. you're making enemies with everyone, everyone. Yeah. your first day like mm-hmm. what's wrong with you they were even saying that everyone was literally like i would not I, have come in max that was hot. like yeah. yeah whatever but like i would never have come in that yeah. way um oh, i love max i think he's so hot he's Thank so you. hot um naomi doesn't want to be bfgf yet she announces at lunch yeah and then josh kind of like pushes her into and pushes it. her into it like yeah. three steps away and is like now tell them that you're all my girlfriend yeah um I kind of want to see her go on dates with other people just to see if like... Yeah, I feel like Josh kind of trapped her a bit. Yeah. Because she initially picked him, but he... Then when she started showing like a bit of standoffishness, she... He was like, I'm more serious about you. You can't be mean to me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like so annoying because if he wanted to, she'd have to be cool with it. Exactly. Like, But you could see that she's like multiple times now, she's not trying to be solo with him. No. Like, and you would think he would take those signs and be like, I should probably give her some leeway. Yeah. Because it makes someone less attracted to you when you force them to be with you. A hundred percent. I have a friend who she has this nasty habit, but also this like weird like relationship cycle that happens where like she's like gorgeous and and smart and like cool and perfect and whatever and guys will become obsessed with her Mm -hmm. and like stalk her down and then make her date them or whatever and then she's like okay yeah i'll date you whatever and then in a few weeks or months or years or whatever it is like they just get bored with her and like she becomes like the loser in the relationship really yeah and it happened like a, a recent ex of hers and she was like yeah he tried to dump me the other day and i was like no and i was like Wait what? Wait, what? I was like, I would never want to like be with someone who just told me they don't like me. Okay, that's funny you say that because I was talking to my friend, my best friend about this yesterday. Yeah. She's currently in a relationship with a guy and she tried to break up with him a few months ago and said like, I like he calls her the love of her, his life. Yeah. And, like, and she's like, I don't. She said to him like, I don't feel, feel the, same the same way same, about yeah. you. And he's like, well, I would rather be with you like this than not be with you at all. And I'm like, if somebody said, if I told somebody you're the love of my life and they said back to me, like, you're not mine. Yeah. I'd be like, okay, goodbye. Yeah. Like, I, I'm not about to be in a relationship with somebody knowing that they do not like me as much as I like them blatantly. Yeah. I, uh, I liked how, um, Jordan says to Zoe when he like kind of goes over and tells her, he's like, yeah, I'm like into you again or whatever. And she's like, well, how do you know that? He's like, I was only with you for a day and a half. And I know, yeah. I know like at this point that like we're better suited. Yeah. And he was so firm about it. He was like, no. Yeah. So no. no. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, like, oh, daddy. Yeah. Hello. Wow. I yeah. Know, he looks so good this episode. He does. Every time he goes in the confessional, like the contrast between the white background and his really, really, really tan skin is like, and his blue eyes. I'm yeah. like, oh my God. Yeah. I just have to get this out there, guys. Like I speak in an Australian accent sometimes for fun because of my friend Tim shout out 
I'm not always trying to be British. Like I know yeah. just that, like, that was Australian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, you have a good Australian accent. Thank you. When, I can only just say so good. Australian Love Island. Oh my god, it'll be so good. Yeah. Um, okay, then we're at Truth or Dare. Okay. We just saw a dick. We full out saw Max's, Max's dick. dick. Like they did not blur it out. No. I was like waiting to see pixelated television. And it was they, a good sized dick. It was pretty nice size. Uncircumcised yeah. dick. British yeah. dick. Um, he was like pretty willing to do it. Like, yeah. I can't imagine if they were like, if they did that to like a new girl, like if they did that to Beth, but I guess she already walked in naked and they were like, Max, show us your body. Well, no, but like, would a girl have to like show her tits and vagina? And I don't know. I couldn't imagine them doing that. But you don't have to like spread your vagina when you're no, naked. No. <laughs> No, but like, like a dick tits? is just like out there, like plump. Yeah, I know, but like, I feel, I guess because of the way I was raised, I feel like a woman's body is so much. It's so sacred. It is so much more sacred if you reveal it. It's like, oh my god. Yeah, my same friend who had dating issues, she used to call my tits the masters of intrigue because I never let her see my nipples. Really? Yeah, I thought it was sacred. I yeah. was like, listen, these are mine. Right. Wait. Well, have you seen that Sarah Silverman bit where she's like? Barbies don't have nipples because, God forbid, we let little girls see the life-nourishing nipple yeah. that feeds life. Oh, God, no. We just want to see the part that can sandwich a hard cock. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> that's brilliant. I actually, my friend sent me a joke the other day, and I don't know if he wrote it or if it was, like, like from uh, some where he found. But it was basically about how Eve is mad at God because he gave us tits. And she's like, why'd you give me these tits? They're, like, heavy to carry around. And he's like, oh, they're not for you. They're for uh, men. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, also and to feed other babies or yeah. whatever. And she's like, wait, so none of this is for me? And he's like, no. And she's like, god damn it. Yeah. And that's where god damn it comes from. I think uh, you were with me when I received that email, right? No. No? That's oh. really funny. Okay. Yeah, well, it's a funny joke. If you wrote it, Jank, good job. If you stole it, great job, too. That is a really funny joke. Um... Yeah, so we saw a full dick. Mm-hmm. Omar gets kissed for being the least attractive and the shortest. Yep. <laughs> well deserved because of how cocky he still is. Still is. Somehow. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I just got kissed for being the ugliest. Whatever. I thought she was the ugliest yeah, too. Yeah. Literally super, said that. Ha- super happy about it though. Super happy to get kissed. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was like, me and Jess kissed. Um, pretty sure she's naughty in bed. Hope I get to find out. Yeah. Like, you won't. Yeah. Oh, he's Ugh. so fucking annoying. Um... He def. Well, I wrote down he definitely didn't get that card. What card? Oh, <laughs> when to get when, naked? When to get naked? Totally his idea. I think it was his idea. Like yeah. you know, sometimes you don't show your fortunes to yeah. people at a Chinese restaurant. You're like, oh, I'm He's sitting like, next to my soulmate. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, up, oh, gotta get naked I and, I and hump too. six of the girls. Yeah, it's like we just saw Chris's was to get naked. Yours is or not Ma- the same. No, Max. I mean, Max. That's what I meant. Yeah, Max. and Max just did get naked yeah. perfectly. Yeah. Okay. He was the perfect naked. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, there was no cupping of his penis. He just no. turned. He just showed us. He showed us. And then he, he ran showed into us the pool. everything, and he ran Confidence. into the pool. Mm-hmm. We love Max. We love Max. Ugh, yum. Love him. Um, Lou doing a strip tease. Mm. So cute and changing clothes with Lauren. Love that. Love Except for that. I was worried for the stretchiness of her shirt because I really and liked that too. I didn't like how they were like, oh well, obviously I'd fit into Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, guys, come on, <laughs> give her a break. <laughs> She's not what? even fat. She's not like she's fat. She's in a G, like a lace G string, and she like does a little move, and I was and like, I has, would look verifiably worse than that. Yeah, she has like <laughs> no. Yeah, but, but she has like no. She's all muscle. Yeah, she's not fat. No, I just she's I, just really red. Uh, she's really red. She's got shit all over her <laughs> she face. Shit she's all just, over her face. She's, she's just a she wreck. just had her pants at work. <laughs> 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 No. Oh God, I love that I love girl. Her. Um, yeah, and then when they're doing a striptease, they're singing that song another time before, and I never know what they're singing. And it's yeah. like, ooh, let me put your body on your baby. Yeah, and they're always singing it. I don't like, know what oh, it is I either. Put my body on your baby. Yeah, but I don't know this song. Um, if you know this song, if you're a British person, write it in. Yeah, that would thank be you cool so much. for us. So thank you so much. Um, these are the words that we learned today. Wait, wait. What? Oh, what? Hi. And then Naomi says, yeah. if Josh wasn't here, I would pick Max. Yes. And that's massive. how they ended the episode. 
Yeah. And they had a look. They exchanged a look. Yeah, and Max like looked at the floor and he was like, oh my God, you've just seen my cock and you yeah. still pick me. Yeah. yeah. Was and Josh was like, hmm. Yeah, Josh is like, oh, now I have to propose. Like, yeah. where do I get a ring from production? Yeah. Um, Josh maybe had another haircut. Yeah. Saw that. Yep. His hair always looks so good, though. Yeah. Which want to run my fingers Just through it. Figure out the grooming on this. I mean, mm-hmm. the production of the grooming. The production of the grooming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How many people are there with them? I, I used to think they were alone, know. alone, and then me too. Like season four, they started talking about like cameraman Jeff or something, and I was like, "What the fuck?" I know. I don't like that. Like, I want to know everybody who's on this island at all times. Yeah. <laughs> it's keep love. me in the loop. Yeah. Um. All right. Vocab. Mm-hmm. Slag. Slag. Slut. Slut, you little slag dickhead. Mm. That was the one contribution from Beth that I thought was fantastic. Slag little dickhead. slag dickhead. Yeah. Um, she's a right state. She's a state. Like, I think it all Jess kept same saying thing. that. I, I, I don't know. I thought it was like a mess. You want me to look it up? Yeah. Untidy and disheveled. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. exactly. She's a mess. She's a state. She's a state. Okay, and then steaming. Steaming? Yeah, he's like, I was just steaming when Lewis... Oh, that was the other thing. When Lewis was talking about Bethany and his le- his night out. Oh, moderate intoxication through alcohol. Nice. Cool. Yeah, uh, and you were like, of course he doesn't remember that night. Like, he's fucked six yeah. girls in a night before. Yeah. But also like, oh, Beth, I feel so bad. Like, you, she really thought that uh, they had something going on. I know, and he was just like... Mm. And then she's like, answer wisely, because this is going to affect how I view you. And he's like, I don't and he's care. Like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> yeah. Go home. And then he was, his card was, give someone a lap dance. And, and then gave she was him. like, come on, give it to me. And he was like, what? Like, who oh, are you? Oh, I guess you? I have to do it for you. Did he do it for her? Yeah. I thought it was for Daisy. No, it was for her. Ugh. But I was, I'm annoyed that she's like thinking she can claim him. Yeah. It's not yours to claim. No, but in, in her head, she's been thinking that they have this relationship. Yeah. I've done this. I've done this. Yeah, I'm yeah, a psycho. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, I, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, I feel yeah. that. Yeah. Um, you don't realize it's happening until like way later. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> and yeah, you're yeah. like, oh my God, how pathetic. Um, Beth, if you're watching this, you looked terrible. You looked like a crazy person. You looked like a crazy person, but hopefully she'll be able to, I don't know, make it up in the next few episodes. I certainly hope so. I'd like to get respect for her again. I just want to make sure that our little young loves young dream are okay God, if something happens with john and hannah like permanently i'm going to be heartbroken yeah. genuinely heartbroken yeah same all right um next episode next episode let's do it see you guys after the next one bye hey guys i know we really love island but do you if you really love we really love island let us know leave a rating a review and tell everyone you know to subscribe to you can find us everywhere that podcasts are found itunes spotify stitcher youtube google play all of them hopefully if they don't work message us you can find us on instagram at we really love island follow us individually at the real emily wilson and at remy Casimir. You could also like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash we really love island. Follow us on Twitter at we really love island. (laughs) Send us your thoughts, your prayers. And if you know any of the contestants, send them our way. Yes. Perfect. Amazing. And always remember that we're not affiliated with Love Island, ITV, CBS, or anything. We're not official anything. We're just two comedian girls. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.